info for the boxing program. This one's kind of tough. So I did give you a bit more skeleton code than I normally do. All you have to do is put the correct true false Boolean statements inside of your ifs. Um, that being said, it's still, it's still a bit of a challenge. The solution video that I made was like 17 minutes. So that shows you that it's kind of difficult. Um, but that being said, try the challenge out. See if you can get somewhere first before you go check out the solution video. So when I run this, here's what you want your program to do. You have your two little boxers already set up. I actually already made the animations for you too. You just need to make sure that you create the correct true false statements in your ifs to make this happen. What I want you to do is when I click the first time, I jab, the counter goes to one. I release, hand comes back. Click again, jab again, counter goes to two. I release, hand goes back. The third time that I click, they're gonna prep for an uppercut, and then when I release, they do the uppercut, do, uh, the opponent's head falls off, it goes to KO, and then anything else is just gonna break. Um, we just wanna have three clicks. I didn't even check in the solution video if I caused an error. That's not really good practice, but whatever, this is just for practice. Um, okay, so here is the code that you'll be getting. I should post this in the, in the uh, description below the video, or at least a link to a code sculptor that has all of this. I gave you a whole lot of stuff. All you need to do, and maybe I should have made comments here, all you need to do, change nothing up here outside of my on mouse press or on mouse release functions. You need to, for each of these if statements, come up with the correct Boolean, the correct true or false, less than, greater than, equal to, not equal to statement that will determine the right time to jab, prepare your uppercut, increase the value of my label, or, you know, bring the jab back, return the fist, or, you know, final, boom, hit the uppercut, and when to ultimately say KO. Good luck with this. It's a bit of a tough one. Like I said, the solution video is pretty long. Um, give it an honest try first, then go check out the solution video, and hopefully that helps you understand how if statements work a little bit more, and really the power of, of what you can start doing with if statements. Um, yeah, good luck with it.